Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel, I hope. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Golden Baccalaureate, Chalk Chapel's shocking net worth revealed. Chalk Chapel is one of Joan Vaso's two remaining suitors. Golden Bachelorette viewers suspect that he is quite wealthy. What is the insurance executive's net worth as of 2024? Keep reading to see the shocking number. Golden Baccalaureate frontrunner, Golden Bachelorette fan favorite Pascal Ivy chose to leave the show in last week's episode. His departure narrows Joan Vaso's choices down to just two, Guy Gansard and Chalk Chapel. Joan Vasos has played her cards close to the vest in media appearances while her season airs. She has said that she's happy with the way that her season ends, but stopped short of giving away the outcome. Some viewers think that Chalk Chapel is the obvious choice because of his strong connection with Joan. But fans shouldn't count Guy Ganser out just yet. What did he make from the reality show? Viewers always wondered the contestants get paid to appear on the various Bachelor Nation shows. The final three suitors on the Golden Bachelorette may have gotten an all-pay trip to Tahiti, but their compensation ends there. Not only do the contestants foot the bill for their wardrobe, but they don't get a paid stipend during their time on the show as the leads do. Bachelor Nation leads earn at least $100,000 and sometimes more if they negotiate a good contract. There is one exception to Constance not getting paid. Bachelor Nation alums do get paid to appear on the Bachelor in Paradise spinoff. The longer they stay on the show, the more money they make. Contestants on BIP can make up to hundreds of dollars a day. According to Crick's 11, Chalk Chapel's net worth is $1.8 million. If Chalk Chapel didn't earn anything from his time on the Golden Bachelorette, how did he get such a high net worth? Chalk Chapel's shocking net worth revealed. As older gentlemen, all of the Golden Bachelorette contestants had at least some wealth. Some viewers have accused Joan Vasos of only being on the show to land a man with money after her husband's tragic death. If she chooses Chalk, would she be set for life? Chalk Chapel is an insurance executive from Wichita, Kansas. He's the founder and president of the Insurance Services Group Company. Additionally, he has several real estate investments that contribute to his expansive net worth. As we previously reported, Chalk Chapel owns several properties, including two homes in Kansas, a lakefront property in Oklahoma, and a storage unit converted into a man cave. The whispers started in the quieter corners of the Golden Bachelorette Mansion. Murmurs among contestants that Chalk Chapel wasn't just an affable Texan with a penchant for loud plaid shirts and a wide smile. Beneath his laid-back charm and dad joke humor, Chalk had a history, a financial history, that had caught the attention of fans and fellow contestants alike. Ever since Chalk entered the show, there was an air of mystery about his life outside the cameras. His easygoing nature and endearing quirks masked the fact that he hadn't divulged much about his profession. As other men boasted about their backgrounds, former CEOs, retired doctors, one very proud real estate mogul. Chalk's evasive answers about what he actually did for a living seemed all the more intriguing. Ah, I just do a little bit of everything, honey, he'd say with a twinkle in his eye. The mystery only intensifying when producers released their biggest bombshell to date. Chalk's net worth was a jaw-dropping $100 million. This revelation hit the show's fans like a shockwave. How could a man who wore worn-out cowboy boots and drove a decades-old truck have amassed such fortune? Suddenly, the spotlight intensified and rumors flourished about the unlikely millionaire. The oil field rumors, one popular theory among fans was that Chalk had deep ties to the Texas oil industry. He'd mentioned more than once that he was born and bred in oil country, a phrase that usually rolled off his tongue with a proud, almost wistful drawl. To the men who listened closely, his quiet familiarity with oil rig life hinted that he might be more than a mere spectator to the industry. Chalk's stories about wild catting in West Texas, where he'd once spent a few months out on the dusty plains, didn't seem like idle boasting. Some fans speculated that Chalk might be sitting on oil-rich land, 
handed down through generations of his family, quietly raking in profits from mineral rights and undisclosed holdings. However, Chalk rarely hinted at any grandiose wealth. He was just as likely to talk about frying up catfish as he was about the stock market, leaving many to wonder if this unassuming oil baron narrative held any water. The mystery tech side hustle. Others weren't convinced by the oil field theory and suggested that Chalk's millions came from something far more modern and under the radar, tech. In one episode, he casually mentioned developing some gadgets and gizmos with a friend in his younger days. One fan sleuth, diving deep into Texas Tech's startup history, noted that a Charles Chapel was listed as one of the early investors in a now-famous app that sold for millions during the first tech boom. Could Chalk's fortune have come from an era-defining startup? And if so, why was he so casual about it? Chalk never mentioned tech investments, and he certainly didn't fit the stereotype of a Silicon Valley mogul. Yet the more fans dug into his history, the more they uncovered hints that he may have been a silent partner or initial investor in a venture that eventually skyrocketed in value. Real Estate Empire in Disguise A theory gaining momentum among contestants was the idea that Chalk's wealth came from a far more grounded source, real estate. Chalk had mentioned multiple times that he owned property here and there, though he rarely went into specifics. When pressed, he simply laughed and waved a hand, saying, Oh, there are just a few humble plots here in Texas. Nothing fancy. But this humble talk began to look like an intentional deflection when one contestant, a realtor from California, pulled Chalk aside on a group date to chat about land values. What began as friendly banter took an unexpected turn when Chalk shared a few insights about zoning laws and market fluctuations. To the keen eye of the realtor, it became apparent that Chalk's understanding of real estate went far beyond that of a hobbyist. Some began to speculate that he wasn't just holding onto a few plots, but instead quietly running a real estate portfolio that included sprawling ranches, commercial buildings, and maybe even lucrative developments scattered across Texas. The Gentle Philanthropist After Chalk's net worth reveal, contestants couldn't help but reconsider every story he'd shared on the show. The once funny anecdotes about throwing a little bit of cash here and there for friends and strangers alike took on new meaning. Was Chalk not just an amiable fellow, but a low-key philanthropist? The rumors seemed to check out when one contestant, a retired teacher from Arizona, mentioned her work with a children's charity. Chalk had shown genuine interest, not the polite, surface-level nods that most contestants offered, but a real depth of knowledge about charity operations and funding sources. And if you looked closely at how Chalk reacted during episodes featuring difficult backstories or heartfelt causes, it was clear that his heart was more involved than he let on. By the time the conversation on Chalk's wealth and charitable activities surfaced, fans were practically certain they cracked the code. Chalk Chapel, the ever-smiling man from Texas, was not just a millionaire. He was a generous benefactor who was quietly giving back to his community, perhaps explaining why his vast fortune had stayed under wraps for so long. The man who wore his heart on his sleeve was also the one funding shelters, scholarships, and community initiatives, all without taking credit. The Final Confrontation In the mansion, curiosity reached its boiling point. During an intense fireside discussion, Kelsey, the show's leading lady, finally asked Chalk about his true financial situation. The question came out softly, her voice barely louder than a whisper, but it was enough to have everyone holding their breath. Chalk's face softened as he met Kelsey's eyes. It's true, he admitted. I've done well for myself, and I'm proud of that. But I didn't come here to flaunt anything, Kelsey. I came here because I wanted to find someone who didn't care about that part of me. Who wanted me, not my bank account. The sincerity in his voice was unmistakable, and even Kelsey's most skeptical admirers seemed to soften toward Chalk in that moment. The man wasn't looking for someone to admire his wealth. He wanted someone who could see past it. With a slight smile, he added, I learned a long time ago that money can't buy you happiness, but it can help you spread a little more of it to those who need it. 
Closing the chapter. Chalk's shocking net worth didn't diminish his popularity on Golden Bachelorette. If anything, it only enhanced his appeal. Fans rallied behind the idea of Chalk being the self-made Texan who'd stayed true to his roots despite his unexpected wealth. His humble attitude and unpretentious lifestyle felt refreshingly authentic in the polished, often hyper-curated world of reality TV.